Paul, speaking a couple of days after the Mansfield game, what are your further reflections on what was ultimately a disappointing night? Yeah, as you said, it, it wasn't the result we wanted, but I think added to that, it wasn't the type of performance I wanted. I think the players will be in agreement with that, in truth. Uh, I'd like to think we've got a, an honest group of players. Um, we've touched on that this morning and went through a, a few clips and just emphasised some of the points that we felt contributed to to the defeat. But then, you know, the message was also about the great thing in, in this job. Very quickly, we've got another game to come. That's, you know, after the whistle on, on Tuesday evening, that very quickly became the most important game, which because it's the next one. So what a game it is as well against Notts County with, you know, their first league game uh, back in the EFL. Sure, it'll be a, a fantastic atmosphere there, a, a big crowd that certainly, you know, our own fans will be contributing to. We've, you know, I've seen how many tickets and how many fans, uh, well, I'm too sold how many fans we'll have there. And I guess for us and many of those, I'm sure it'll take back some memories from the last time we were there. Uh, but, you know, a different manager for them, totally different time. Not all different players, but quite a few. Uh, but it'd be fantastic if we could get the same sort of result. They'll obviously be smarting a little bit from a tough opening weekend uh, defeat and they lost in the cup as well. What sort of challenge are you expecting from them on Saturday? I think you know they'll be looking for a, a response. I think listening to um, you know Luke's comments uh, as in the manager around the performances in, in his view and opinion, I'm sure he'll be wanting to get a response from his players. But, you know what I would say is they have had sending offs in both games and as much as I think he, he said didn't contribute certainly to the first game. I, I get his point to a degree, and I you know respect him not trying to make excuses. But if you play what would be normally seventy five minutes and then added on time um, with ten men, that, that's always going to be difficult. But if you look at the possession stats from both games, still had a lot more of the ball than the opposition. That gives you a bit of a clue in terms of how they like to play and, and what they want to do with, with the football. And that, to be fair, goes back similar-ish, I'm not saying they're exactly the same, but to when we were coming up against them in the National League. A very um, good football inside, want to be in possession of the, of the football. So similar-ish, but like I said, some new players. Um, you know, made a, obviously a, a standout signing uh, that we're going to have to certainly be on his toes with, but we've got quite a few threats in all honesty. Um, so I think both of us will be looking for a better performance than, than probably we saw in, in midweek. Uh, some said last season that your team uh, stepped up against better opposition. How much are you looking at this game as a marker to put down for your aspirations this season? Um, I think you always are. It's the start of the season. You want to make a good impression and I think last Saturday I was pleased with quite a bit of, of what we what we saw. Things obviously can get better, but I, I, if I'm being truthful, I, I would say that you might get odd game, and even then I'd probably say not, where I won't say we could do things better still. That, that's just the, the reality of it. Nothing, or, or very rarely, everything goes exactly to plan. Um, and look, look at Wimbledon's result um, in the Cup. It went and beat Coventry, so then you go, well, it doesn't look quite as bad a draw. Um, and, and Mansfield are a very good side. I, I think, they, like I said, they'll be up there. And we didn't get close enough to, to them in terms of our performance and making more of a game of it on the evening. So Saturday is, like I said, the next opportunity against a team. What I, what I will happily sort of say is that I do expect to be up there at the end of the season. You're returning to the scene of one of the fondest... Mm. Uh, nights in recent Mariners history. Where does that stand for you in your sort of coaching memories? Yeah, I mean, I I guess it, in some regards it, it kind of ties into to those three games. Um, but I know f for uh, Chris, he, he felt that the late equaliser was almost a standout moment of it all. Um, you're almost sort of planning to go on holiday and what you're going to do the next day and you know, arrange me thinking about maybe arranging the meetings with the players, etc. When we can do that, and very quickly, 
we were thinking about extra time, then getting to the point of thinking about penalty takers and, and didn't need that on the night. And yeah, just uh, kind of almost get goosebumps speaking about it now. A, a fantastic evening that's in the, like I say, recent sort of memories for us. Um, and I'm sure a lot of the fans that will travel will have been there on that evening as well. So yeah, fantastic. But what I would say is we know this is totally different. Um, but yeah, I, I think we can't talk about the game with at least not recognising um, that the last time we were there, it was a fantastic night for the club. Uh, just looking back at the, the Mansfield game and you made five changes for that game. I won't ask you about changes coming up for Saturday, but uh, <laughs> Niall Mar was one who missed out on Tuesday. Yeah. I gather he's got a bit of an injury. Yeah, he's got a hamstring injury, unfortunately. Uh, picked up from the Wimbledon game uh, over the weekend. He was a bit concerned about it and kind of as we got Monday, it was evident he, he wouldn't be able to train. Tuesday, it was kind of almost sore again. Some bruising came out. So he he went for a scan, and unfortunately, it's it's shown an injury there. I, I'm not expecting him to be out for too long, uh, but certainly a couple of weeks uh, minimum. So bad news on that front, because in reality, I think after suffering an injury in pre-season last year, uh, once he got back from that, I can't really recall him missing many games at all, if he, if if any. So disappointing, disappointing for him, of course, but. Hopefully he'll be back with us soon. Obviously bad news on that front, but some good news in that there's over 2,700 town fans making the trip down to Notts County. Um, how big an impact can they make on the day? Yeah, as I said, I think on that evening we spoke about was just an example of, although it was only the one goal, but almost down and out, realistically. I think some fans had left, and again, that's not me being critical of them. I think try and beat the traffic and all of that, and. I think quite a few ended up trying to get back into uh, the game, but just their support, you know, when they're behind the players, it, it, make, it does make a difference. It keeps people motivated and we all know that they should be anyway, I get that, but we're talking about fine margins and, and having that extra spring in your step and, you know, when you, the, the lads have to try and give them something to cheer as well. So I, I'm not, certainly not just putting it on the fans, but it's, Sometimes it can be the sort of chicken and egg bit, as in fans are wanting something from the players. I think if the fans give them something initially, the players can respond sometimes. But we we know how well um, we're supported, home and away. But the away support in relation to what we can get at, at Blundell Park has got to be right up there with the best in, in the country. You know, the, the percentage wise of, of who we have travelling is, is fantastic. and said it before, talked about a lot of it to the new players, they're going to experience it absolutely first hand uh, on Saturday and you know, it will be mentioned, I'm sure they might, one or two might listen to this, um, but it will definitely be something that we talk about prior to the game.